Thank the member for Kerangbite, and I call the member for Chisholm. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. As Melbournians are coming out of the longest lockdown, I would like to take this opportunity to commend the Chinese-Australian community, particularly those in my electorate of Chisholm, for what they have done during one of Australia's toughest times. At the early months of this pandemic in 2020, I was incredibly disappointed to see the uptick in racial abuse towards the Chinese-Australian community. According to the ABC, a shocking 8 in 10 Asian Australians reported discrimination during the pandemic. I would like to thank the Prime Minister Scott Morrison and many of my parliamentary colleagues to call out this regrettable, disgusting, and un-Australian behaviour. When Chinese Australians felt excluded and got blamed for the pandemic that they had no part in creating and have at the same time to suffer just like anyone else, the Prime Minister came out to bet for them. He said Chinese Australians were the ones who first went into self-isolation and they led the way and the broader communities is now following. And this, is, has, this has contributed to the low infection rate and death rate in Australia. However, I was saddened by an outbreak in Box Hill with one of my constituents passed away from COVID-19 only just last week. He worked at a popular Chinese takeaway, and because of the slow action of the state government, this takeaway had not been listed as a tier one site after days uh, of the death, while heated debate and speculation of the death were widely circulated on Chinese social media. And many Chinese locals are feeling very concerned. I was also angered to hear that a small minority of people are seeking to capitalize on the death by pushing an anti-vaccination agenda that will weaken the vaccine rollout and put people at risk. The facts about vaccination are clear. These vaccines are safe and effective. Vaccinated Australians are over 90% less likely to be hospitalized after exposure to COVID-19, and they are 50% less likely to pass the virus on to someone who can't be vaccinated. Yeah. I'm proud of Chinese, I'm proud of the Chisholm community, and um, they are fully, uh, firmly on board with the vaccination rollout. Right. Thank you. Thank you. I thank the member for Chisholm, and I call